Uh, yeah, I hope that you're hearing me. Uh-huh. This is the future, all about cybersecurity. Talking about the hackers, I'm just trying to warn you. From the one and only legend, the cyber informer. Hey, yeah, yeah, this is the cyber reformer. Uh, this is the cyber reformer. Let's go. It's time for the Cybersecurity Business Connect and Protect Central Coast How To Video. I am Michael Tremblett, the Cyber Informer, at Cyber underscore Informer on Twitter. Today, we'll be continuing the YubiKey series. In this video, we'll be setting up the YubiKey to secure your login to Windows when it's configured with a local account or in a work group. I'll show you how to set it up and how it works. Let's go. For details on what a YubiKey is, go back and watch the Q&A video, How Do I Use Multi-Factor Authentication Without a Phone? Introducing YubiKey. As we've already covered what a YubiKey is in that video, we'll move on. There are many types of accounts you can use to log into Windows. A single system can be configured such that it has a Microsoft account, Active Directory, and Azure Active Directory accounts, in addition to local accounts. Local accounts are configured when you are using your computer either standalone or in a network without a server. In this video, we'll look at securing these local accounts with YubiKey. To do this, we need to use the software Yubico Login for Windows, which enables us to use second factor authentication for local accounts. There are expensive subscription third-party multi-factor authentication products, which can get incredibly complex. YubiKey is a once-off purchase and simple to use. Windows and Mac use the Personal Identity Verification or PIV card standard for smart card verification to log into the operating systems. PIV uses security certificates to prove your identity. The way certificates determine your identity is out of scope for these videos, but take my word for it, it is mathematically secure and computationally infeasible to try and guess keys. This is why they are the preferred method of identification validation. The US federal government uses PIV for accessing federally controlled facilities and information systems. As we will be logging into Windows, we will see PIV in action. For this to work, we need a YubiKey that supports the Yubico Login for Windows software product. I will be using YubiKey Series 5 in this demonstration. The supported operating systems are Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 and 11. Yubico also says systems that are running any of these operating systems need to be fully updated and will be supported for as long as they are supported by Microsoft. The best practices for allowing YubiKey for a local account are as follows. Configure at minimum a primary and backup YubiKey for each user. YubiCo recommends having a backup key just in case the original is lost. Ensure that there are no lower security backdoor access. Remove all sign-in options other than username and password. This refers to other methods like Windows Hello face recognition or PIN. Configure a recovery code for each account. During the setup wizard, you will have the option to create a recovery code which can be used to log into your account in a pinch. This is a 64 character long code, so you'd be best securely storing it in a password manager. Ensure that the username and password for each account are available and have been tested for validity before using Yubico login for Windows to configure those accounts. If you don't do this first, you could lock yourself out of the workstation when the login for Windows software is installed. There are some gotchas. If a user loses both keys, a new YubiKey can be added by a local administrator account. It is best practice to have a secondary admin account on all workstations. This should be done by default by your IT provider. Without a local administrator account, if both YubiKeys are lost, the only way of recovering is to use a recovery code. Before installing the YubiCo login for Windows software, make a note of your Windows username and password for the local account. Without these, nothing can be configured and the account will be inaccessible, essentially locking you out of Windows completely. This is the most important step. Make sure you know your credentials before installing the software. If you don't do this, you may be forced to reinstall Windows from scratch. Once Yubico login for Windows has been configured, there is no Windows password hint, no way to reset passwords, no remember previous user login function. You'll be typing your username and password in each time you log into the computer. This adds to the security of the system. You can use the same key on multiple accounts on the same system. You can use the same key on accounts on multiple different systems too. For example, if you are the admin of a small company, you might want to register your YubiKey on all user accounts to be the backup option for every end user. Let's have a look to see how this works. For this demonstration, we have a propeller hat zone. We're going to look at setting up the YubiCo login for Windows software, and I'll demonstrate logging in using the YubiKey. This section is rated two propeller hats out of five. 
In this demonstration, we'll see how to use YubiKey on a computer in a work group or without a server on the network. Log into the workstation and note that it's a regular looking login screen. This will change once we have the Yubico login for Windows software installed. Speaking of the software, we'll go to the Yubico software download website at yubico.com slash support slash download. First thing is first, we need to go down to the smart card drivers and tools to get the smart card mini driver. Scroll down and click on the mini driver version for your version of Windows. In this case, it's for 64-bit systems, which will be typically Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now we'll get the Yubico login tool. We go back and then go to computer login tools. And again, choose the version for your version of Windows. In this case, 64-bit Windows. So we'll get the 64-bit version. Now we've downloaded the mini driver and the login for Windows utility. Let's install them. Open up the download folder. It's important to install the mini driver first, so that's what we'll do. Double click on it, click next, then install. We let it run through. You might get a UAC prompt. If you do, just click OK or Yes. Click on the Finish button. Now we'll install the Yubico login for Windows. This replaces the regular login screen with the Yubico login screen. This enables us to log into Windows using the YubiKey. With the installer, we'll just follow the bouncing ball. We'll tick the box, click Next, and then click Install. Then hit Finish. Now the computer will want to restart. Once it restarts, we'll be back at the Yubico login screen. Remember, we need to know what our username and password is before we do a restart. If we don't, we could be locked out of the system for good. To check our username, we can go to the command prompt, or in Windows 11, it's the Windows terminal. Type in the command, who am I? and we can then see who we're logged in as. That will be the username that we need to use when we log back into Windows. Let's restart. Now it's restarted. When we go to log into Windows, we can see now the prompt says that it's a Yubico login, and we have to enter all of our details in. So we'll enter cyber underscore informer, and we'll drop in the password. That will get us back into Windows, and now we can then set up the link to the YubiKey. Once logged in, we'll go to the Login Configuration tool. Click on Start, and we should see it there in Recently Added. We click on it, and follow the bouncing ball. We'll click Next. This YubiKey can hold two sets of credentials, one in each slot. Now, I already have an unrelated set of credentials set up in slot two, so we're gonna use slot one. Because this is a new set of credentials, we'll use Generate New Random Secret, and we'll take away the tick in the box, create backup device for each user, because we only have one key. Now, best practice is to have two keys. So normally you would have that ticked, so you can create two Yubi keys, but in this case, we're just gonna create the one. The reason you would have two keys is for redundancy. Just in case one gets lost, you can use the other one to log back into Windows, so you don't get locked out of your system for too long. When we click next, we'll get the option to select which user do we want to associate with this key. In this case, we're just gonna do the Cyber Informer. There is another user on this computer called Michael, but we are not gonna associate that Michael user account with this key. As I mentioned before, slot two is already configured. So you can see from this summary screen, slot one is not configured. That's the one that we are gonna configure up. And slot two has already a configuration in it. When we click next, it will program the device. This programs your secure login to the YubiKey. You'll be prompted to remove the key. Once you remove the key, you get a recovery code. I recommend saving that recovery code to something like a password manager, because that will be your only way back in should you lose the key and you don't have a redundant key available. If you lose the key, you can use that code to log back into Windows. Now that's 64 characters long, so you don't wanna be entering that in all the time, but it's there in an emergency. If you remember the previous video called What Password Should I Use, 64 characters will take a very, very long time, probably until after the sun has burnt out before it is guessed. In other words, it's secure. After saving the code, click Next and then Finish. Now we'll restart and use our key to log into Windows. First of all, let's try logging into the Cyber Informer account with the password. Nope. Windows doesn't let us in. We must insert our YubiKey before Windows will log us in. We'll connect in the YubiKey. There it is right there. I'll plug it into the USB port. It activates the users, which you can see pop up down the bottom left. 
Now if I try entering the password again, we log in. Once we're logged in, we can unplug the YubiKey and we will remain logged into the system. And that concludes the demonstration of using a YubiKey in a workgroup environment. Let's exit the Propeller Hat Zone and see what we learned. What did we learn? We learned how to secure your local workstation account in a workgroup or standalone configuration. There are some additional security measures like re-entering your username and password each time you log in. A single YubiKey can be used to secure multiple accounts on a single system. A single YubiKey can be used to configure the admin account on multiple systems. An admin account should be configured on the workstation to help with lost key recovery. Thank you for joining me for a look at using YubiKey to secure your login to Windows when it is configured with a local account or in a workgroup. Using YubiKey to secure your workstation makes logging into it impossible without the key. Combine it with full disk encryption and you have an impenetrable fortress. Don't forget you can contact me via email, Instagram, Facebook or Twitter. Also check out the podcast at loyalit.com.au slash podcast. Until next time, stay safe online. Oh yeah, this is the Cyber Reformer. Hackers you going down like, oh yeah, this is the Cyber Reformer. Hackers you going down, yeah.